Life song kids! Life song kids! Life song kids! Life song kids! How are you guys doing? I am so excited for another week and I'm feeling a lot of energy today. So I say we go ahead, stand up on our feet and start in our favorite way with... did not want to eat the food of the palace. He wanted to honor God. So he said, can I just eat fruits and vegetables? They're like, mm, no way. All the other men are going to be strong and healthy and you're going to be itty bitty skinny. And Daniel's like, just watch. He says, let me fast for a week and we'll see what happens. And God honored Daniel. And at the end, Daniel was actually stronger and healthier than all the other men there. But not only that, God gave Daniel and his friends favor. And they were able to be filled with knowledge and understanding. They could interpret dreams and do really cool things because they chose not to eat the rich, probably delicious foods from the palace and eat fruits and vegetables because honoring God was more important to them than anything else. All right, fasting does three things in your life. Let's talk about them. Number one, fasting causes you to depend on God. It's so hard to give up certain things sometimes. Can you imagine going a whole week only eating 
fruits and vegetables? That sounds really hard. And that's the point of fasting, is to choose something that might be hard so that we learn to depend on God. Fasting says, God, I'm going to put myself in a place where I need you. Help me to do this. Give me strength to do this. Number two, fasting draws you closer to God. Now we're not just giving up certain things to give them up. We want to replace them with something else. So maybe when you would be eating dessert, you could read your Bible. Or maybe instead of watching TV, you could spend some time worshiping God. And when you replace certain things with Jesus, you're gonna draw closer to Him. And because you're depending on God, you're gonna to get to know Him even better. And last but not least, number three, fasting brings out the fullness of God in your life. You see, because Daniel chose to fast, he found favor and blessings with God. Go favor, go blessing, go favor, go blessing. But not only that, it says that God gave him the ability to interpret dreams. When we fast, God reveals his power, his glory, and his strength in our lives. So let's recap. What does fasting do? Number one, fasting makes you depend on God. Number two, Fasting makes you draw closer to God. And number three, fasting brings out the fullness of God in your life. So now it's time for your challenge. I challenge you to fast something for the next week. I want you to pray about it and say, God, what should I give up so that I can be closer to you? Oh, I know what I'll fast. I'll fast doing my homework. I think I'll fast. Broccoli? Can I fast doing my chores? Give up something that causes you to truly depend on God. Something that may be hard for you because God always honors sacrifice just like he did for Daniel. Fasting draws me closer to God. I promise that as you fast and you replace it with time with Jesus, you will get closer to him. And God will reveal the fullness of who he is in your life. Maybe you need to fast TV, video games, or electronics. Maybe you should fast your favorite snack, or fast desserts, or fast drinking sodas. But you can pray about it and say, God, what should I give up so that I can draw closer you. Well guys, I hate to say it, but that's a wrap for this week. So as always,